Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to bring you a introduction of a gaming and mechanical keyboard that I would recommend to you guys. Uh, it's a very nice, cheap gaming mechanical keyboard. Very nice, and so let's go ahead and get into the introduction. But before we get into the introduction, I would like to introduce you guys to Severe IX, and they are a clothing and accessory company. Uh, very nice right here. As you can see, I got an AirPods case. Very nice. Uh, they're a very good brand. I recommend go checking them out. Use code Rook twenty five in the uh uh in the discount to get a twenty five percent off. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into the. Oh yeah, and also sponsored by Severe is merch. Go check out the merch. Anyways, get into the video. So this is the On Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. As you can see, it comes in this box. Um, the boxing, nah, not, not the best. I mean, like, I've seen better boxing designs, but, you know, I guess it's okay, but I really don't like the way they have their uh, box. Anyways, um, so we open up the box. And the first thing we get is a, uh, a wrist rest. Um, I think it has magnets in it. It's very nice. It also has uh, padding on the bottom to help stay in place. And then after this, they did kind of well with the packaging, I guess. They don't wrap up the keyboard, which I don't like. But anyways, uh, into the keyboard. So this is the On Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Um, it's very nice. Looks nice. Um, it has blue switches, which if you do not know what blue switches are, blue switches are basically the very clicky, they're basically the loudest switch in the keyboard industry. And, um, so I guess if you're looking to annoy people or something, or it's just sound very sweaty, this is the keyboard for you. So, what we have here is a 100% keyboard. Um, I mean, I like it. I can, it's hand size, not bad. Um, besides that, I don't see anything special really with this. Now, Here's how the wrist rest works. So you just pop it up, and it'll connect ma magnetically. As you can see, I'm not even holding it. So that's it's nice. Um, I wouldn't recommend it when you're gaming. Gaming, it can kind of affect you. Now, some people, they might use it, but that is more for just typing stuff and stuff like that. Uh, so into the keyboard. Um, it is an RGB keyboard, which if you do not know what RGB means, it is a... It's just basically color design and, you know, cool looking, basically. Alright, that, that's what we'll put it like. Um, so this keyboard, it comes with props. They don't actually put up the keyboard too much higher than it actually is. They're, they're, pre they're pretty flat. Um, but I guess it does kind of help a little with gaming. So, you know, definitely use the props. Because... This keyboard just flat. Yeah, it ain't that good. Um. So, yeah. And if you want a sound test, that is the sound test. So, as you can tell, very clicky. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Um. One thing I do not like about this keyboard is the spacebar. I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but it has an aluminum sound. Um, so do the other keys, but they're just not as bad with the sound that the spacebar is. Now, the shift is... It's just pretty much a shift in the spacebar, but the spacebar is definitely worse. Um... That's just one thing that bugs me because whenever you're playing, 
you just hear that aluminum sound. It's kind of bothering, in my opinion. Um. So yeah. Anyways. Uh. So. That's pretty much a whole entire keyboard. It has different color settings. Uh, you can't change the brightness. Basically, what you can do is just have singular. Uh, you can have a wave, a cycle, um, just solid green, and a heartbeat, and firework, and then waves. So, that's pretty much all the color settings. Uh, the cable, um, I'd say this is about a two feet cable. Maybe, no, like three feet, maybe, I don't know. Three feet, four feet. Um, it's nice. Um, one thing I do like about on gaming, uh, which I also have an on gaming mouse. Uh, one thing I do like about their company is they make their cables out of leather. Which, leather makes it very hard to be able to tear. Because I can tell you I've gone through a couple of headsets and all of them... They got broken because the the headset wire would rub against the desk and then the wire would tear. So that's pretty much it right there. Um, besides that, I think that pretty much covers everything about this keyboard. Um, a couple things I gotta say. Um, I don't like how like they have some extra space that they added to the keyboard I don't like you know they could have definitely cut it off um and they didn't they don't send any keycap removers which is weird because usually you would think that keyboard would come up with a key key keycap remover well they be different. Um, I don't know what happened there. But besides that, pretty good keyboard. I guess if you want to annoy people with a very loud noise of m mechanical gaming, I would recommend this keyboard. Um, very cheap and very nice for as low as the price as it is. Only four, only forty dollars. Um, very nice. I'll I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, so that pretty much covers everything about this keyboard. Thanks guys for watching. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, so you can find out when the next video comes out, which the next video will actually be another keyboard, uh, keyboard, uh, going, going over another keyboard, the Steel Series Apex 100, so if you guys want to check that out, uh, I'll be going over that, and that video will also be releasing today, along with this video, so, Soon here, you guys will be getting another notification if you already have your notifications on about the Steel Series Apex 100. But if you liked the video, don't forget to like. Check out my Twitch, Twitch at the forward slash rookie 13. We are so close to affiliate, guys. I can't, I can't believe we um the way that my social medias and stuff are starting to grow. Uh, thanks guys for all the love and support. I love you guys so much. Um, you know, definitely going through some tough times right now. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys for the love and support, and I definitely hope to give that back to all of you sometime, so, speaking of back sometime, World Cup 2021, if you haven't, don't already know about it, go, go ahead and go check out my channel for those videos, but anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video, peace.